Something we should have done in part one is rename the patch. Let's do that right now. And then something else that I want to do that I probably should have done in part one is go into the PCM oscillator and actually put the thunder sound below C4. Now let's go to the common tab and create another layer of mod 7. Before we get into this, let's actually go to the control surface and turn off EXI1. So we're only hearing the output of EXI2. In EXI2, we'll send our PCM oscillator to the mixer, send a noise to the mixer, send both of those to filter A, and then uh, send filter A to the second output. Let's also send noise to filter B and send filter B to the input of VPM oscillator 1, which is automatically going to the output, to an output. Now let's go to the, let's see, I want noise on the filter to be key tracked. So I'm going to go to the level, filter B, which is, we're eventually going to turn this into thunder. And just, I'll just use the common key track. It's fine. Um, actually, it'll, it'll be easier to use the amp key track. I think. Let me just double check. Amp key track. Okay, the amplitude key tracking is hard patched, which I don't want, where the filter key tracking is not. So we're going to actually go into the, the filter and have the level dictated by the filter key tracking, which is, I guess is appropriate because, you know. Um, so we're not using this filter key tracking to modulate the cutoff of filter B. We're using it to regulate the level of what will be thunder to the upper part of the keyboard. So we're going to be essentially splitting our sampled thunder sound from the synthesized thunder sound. So going to the filter, filter modulation, we already have this on C4, so we just need to turn down the bottom. Nice. Okay. Now that that's all done, let me decide what to do next. We can fashion that thunder now. I guess that's, that's as good a time as any to do that. Let's turn down what will become our synthesized rain and only focus on the thunder signal chain. So we have noise going to filter B. Let's go to that filter B. And it's going to be a low pass filter and we'll bring the frequency all the way down. And then let's put resonance all the way up. And we'll put resonance bass on full so we get a nice full bass response from the resonant peak. And then for the resonance, let's choose AMS and we'll have it be modulated by envelope nine. And I ran into a glitch earlier where it actually chose the wrong envelope in the filter modulation section to be used as the one that's um, modulating the, the cutoff of filter B. It, it'll say eight, but it'll actually be nine. So I'm just gonna let, like ride with the glitch and choose filter nine from the get-go. So now that we have all that set up, we're going to have envelope generator intensity. Uh, we'll have it all the way up for now, but we're definitely going to end up taking that down. I just want to go and set up kind of the rough parameters of the envelope. So for EG9, zero break, zero sustain. Quite a bit of decay. 
quite a bit of release. Let's see what that sounds like. For our oscillator section, go to VPM oscillator one and choose wave shaper only. Let's take off on flip generator one and let's choose super square, which is kind of the uh, hard clipper for the wave shaper. And it sounds really cool right now, but it's not the sound we're going for. Um, go to that filter B and have the intensity of envelope generator nine all the way down. Sounds really cool actually. All right, so let's take resonance down a bit. And let's take that envelope generator intensity down a bit. So that's not um, sounding correct. So let's choose envelope generator eight. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I actually have to choose envelope generator eight. And then even though I chose that envelope, it's still using envelope generator nine for some reason. Um, but whatever, that's the way it's gonna be. That's the way it's gonna be. So put this up a bit. Go to that envelope generator and put the slope down a little bit less. Um, four. Now let's have the attack level modulated by our velocity. Nice. We can even use velocity to have some time modulation. And we'll give it, um, we'll have it negative. So higher velocity equals less attack. Put this up a bit. Now let me get into that filter and take the resonance down just a bit. Let me go into the amp, give it some release time. And then back into the envelope generator. That's fine, maybe a little bit more. Nice. Okay, very good. So now we have our synthesized thunder, but we still need to add some drive. A little less. Pretty good. Awesome. Okay. So now let's take down the thunder and we're going to do the rain. So we have, I think, let me, let me choose the, did I choose the sample yet of the PCM oscillator? No. Nope. So we're going to want to go with 1466 and we're going to go stream. There's another preset on the Kronos called perfect storm and it uses stream as kind of a rain sound um we're gonna add some pitch modulation to this sound we'll just use lfo one and you know we can go pretty high with this and let's go to that lfo lfo one and choose random five continuous Yeah, 67 is fine. Now let's go to the filter 
And for filter A, let's choose a band pass. Let's give it some resonance. fine. Uh, in filter modulation, LFO 1 is automatically going to be patched into uh, filter A, cutoff. Let's give it some intensity. A little bit goes a long way here. So 2 is fine. Actually, I want that LFO to go a little bit slower. Pretty good. So now let's add some attack to that rain because right now it just comes in immediately. Um, we'll go to, I always need to go to the patch panel to have that general overview. We'll have filter A, we'll have the level of filter A. Um, be modulated by envelope generator one. We'll bring it down to zero, our AMS envelope generator one, and put the intensity on full. Now when we jump into our envelope generator one, let's put break and sustain on full, release time pretty high, and give it some attack. Now let's let's give it a little, little bit more attack, and then um, and actually a lot more release. And let's go to the patch panel and turn up our thunder again. Now let's turn on our other timbre under the. Play page, control surface, there we go. So. And you know what? I want to actually have the same kind of effect for the rain as I had for the wind. So I'm gonna go back and go to envelope generator one and have the start time all the way down and then have the attack time at 90. Start level. That way the wind and the rain come in together. And I think I want to take down the resonance of the rain a little bit. And under the mixer section, I think I want to turn down the um, the noise a little bit. Which one is my noise? There it is. Nice. It's pretty good. Let's go to the common section and go to the effects. It'll take a second to load. Let's route to insert effect one. And put on a compressor, stereodynamic compressor. I just throw it on. I don't change any settings or anything like that. And I'm going to probably increase the, uh, the output level. By a lot. more.
Very nice. You can do a lot of stuff to this patch on your own. You can throw on a wave shaper after the compressor. Some reverb will be really nice to give it some space. Um, and try panning different elements. So you can pan, you know, the rain left, the wind slightly right. Do the same thing with the thunder. You can even have random panning for the thunder, which is built into, I think, the, the amp panner. Thank you for watching this. And uh, there's something that I want to say about the Patreon and also these YouTube videos. So I've been doing this for about a week, and I plan to keep con continuing to do this. But if you want to support me through Patreon or, su or support the YouTube videos, I, I just want to let you know that I'm not charging anything. So even if you were to become a patron of mine, for all the videos that I've been releasing, I haven't charged patrons. So the way Patreon works is if you're a patron, uh, you, you might, like the, the person who's Patreon that you're supporting can choose to charge their patrons like a dollar for something that they release, like a video or whatever. Um, I haven't done that for any videos, and I also haven't enabled ads on any of my YouTube videos. I'll probably enable ads after another week or so, and then with the Patreon thing, I don't, I don't plan on charging for a while. And then uh, I'll probably set a goal though to to get to try to raise some money for like the Karma software and then do Karma tutorials and things. But yeah, thank you again for watching. And uh, tomorrow we're going to do a beach sound. So I'm really looking forward to that because making the sounds of seagulls is really neat. And uh, yeah, I'll see you, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.